What does the future hold for the Bitcoin mining industry after the halving? Let's begin by unraveling the complex world of Bitcoin mining. At its core, Bitcoin mining is the process through which new Bitcoins are entered into circulation, but it also serves a critical function in maintaining and developing the blockchain ledger. It's a bit like digging for gold, only this time, the gold is digital, and the shovels are powerful computers solving complex algorithms. Bitcoin mining is a fundamental pillar of the cryptocurrency ecosystem. The miners, using high-powered computers, solve intricate mathematical problems that validate each transaction on the Bitcoin network. In return, these miners are rewarded with new Bitcoins, which is how new coins are introduced into the system. This process, while seemingly straightforward, is highly competitive and requires significant computational resources. Now, let's delve into the concept of Bitcoin halving. This is a pre-programmed event etched into Bitcoin's code that occurs approximately every four years or after 210,000 blocks have been mined. What happens during this event? The rewards for mining new blocks are halved, hence the term halving. This means that the number of new Bitcoins generated and earned by miners decreases by 50%. But why does this matter? Well, halving impacts the rate at which new Bitcoins are created and, consequently, the miners' profits. It's a significant event that has historically triggered price volatility and has sparked intense discussions about Bitcoin's future. So, what implications does halving have on the Bitcoin mining industry? It's a double-edged sword. On one hand, the reduced rewards may discourage miners, particularly those with higher operational costs, potentially leading to a drop in the network's security. On the other hand, the reduced supply of Bitcoins may drive up its value, potentially offsetting the reduced rewards with higher prices. As we venture into the future, the impact of halving on the Bitcoin mining industry remains a captivating topic to explore. The evolution of this industry, much like Bitcoin itself, is unpredictable, exciting, and a testament to the transformative power of technology. To comprehend the future of Bitcoin mining, we must first understand the phenomenon of Bitcoin halving. Bitcoin halving is a fundamental part of Bitcoin's design, inextricably tied to its decentralization and deflationary nature. To put it simply, Bitcoin halving refers to the event where the reward for mining a block on the Bitcoin blockchain is cut in half. This occurs every 210,000 blocks mined, or approximately every four years. But why does Bitcoin halving happen? Satoshi Nakamoto, the mysterious and anonymous creator of Bitcoin, designed this halving mechanism to control Bitcoin's supply and ensure its scarcity over time. By halving the block reward, the rate at which new Bitcoins are introduced into the market is reduced, mimicking the scarcity of precious metals like gold. This scarcity is a key factor in Bitcoin's value proposition, and its deflationary nature sets it apart from traditional inflationary currencies. Now let's take a brief walk down memory lane. The first Bitcoin halving event occurred in November of 2012. The block reward decreased from 50 Bitcoins to 25, the second halving in July of 2016 reduced the reward to 12.5 Bitcoins, and the most recent halving in May of 2020 cut the reward down to 6.25 Bitcoins. Each of these halving events has had a significant impact on the cryptocurrency market. In general, they have been associated with a surge in Bitcoin's price due to the increased scarcity of new Bitcoins. However, it's important to note that while historical trends can provide some insights, they're not a guarantee of future performance. So what does all this mean for Bitcoin miners? With each halving, the rewards for Bitcoin miners decrease, making the mining process increasingly challenging. This essentially means that miners need to constantly upgrade their equipment and seek out cheaper energy sources to remain competitive. It's a high stakes game, but for those who can adapt, the rewards can be substantial. With each halving, the rewards for Bitcoin miners decrease, making the mining process increasingly challenging. The Bitcoin halving events have a significant impact on the mining industry. Let's delve deeper into this fascinating phenomenon. Bitcoin halving is like a double-edged sword for miners. On one side, it decreases the supply of new coins, potentially driving up the price due to scarcity. If the price increases enough, miners can still enjoy a profitable operation, even with a lower reward. 
but that's a big if. On the flip side, the halving event slashes the rewards for mining in half. For miners, this means that their potential earnings drop dramatically overnight. This can lead to a sort of mining exodus, where less profitable miners shut down their operations, at least until the market adjusts to the new normal. This adjustment period is crucial. The network difficulty, a measure of how hard it is to mine a block, adjusts approximately every two weeks. If many miners drop out, the network difficulty will drop, making it easier and potentially more profitable for the remaining miners. However, this is not always enough to keep miners in the game, especially those with high operational costs. Electricity, hardware, maintenance, these expenses don't have along with the rewards. In fact, they can even increase over time. This can lead to a consolidation of mining power in regions with low operational costs, potentially impacting the decentralization of the network. Moreover, the halving can also influence miners' behaviors. Some may choose to hold on to their mined bitcoins, betting on a post-halving price increase. This hodling can further decrease the supply of bitcoin on the market, potentially driving the price up, but also increasing volatility. In conclusion, Bitcoin halving is a delicate balancing act. It's a fundamental part of Bitcoin's deflationary nature, designed to mimic the extraction of precious metals. However, it does not come without its trials and tribulations for the miners who secure the network. The halving process, while integral to Bitcoin's design, poses considerable challenges to miners. So what's next for the Bitcoin mining industry after the halving? Well, it's like gazing into a crystal ball, yet a few intriguing scenarios are on the horizon. First, we can expect an increase in mining difficulty. As the reward for mining is halved, miners must work twice as hard for the same amount of Bitcoin. This could lead to a rise in competition, pushing the overall mining difficulty higher. Secondly, we should anticipate the emergence of more efficient mining technologies. The pressure of reduced rewards could spur innovation, leading to the development of faster, more energy-efficient mining hardware. Finally, we're likely to see shifting dynamics in mining profitability. As the rewards decrease, only those with the most efficient operations will be able to maintain profitability. While the future of Bitcoin mining post-halving remains uncertain, it's clear that the industry will continue to evolve and adapt to these changes.